It keeps putting the amp into protect. We'll get into more on that. 625.85. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Oh, okay. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're getting back to the roots of the channel with these amazing Poke SDA-1A speakers from 1985, claimed by Poke to be the first true stereo speakers. Now, the SDA or Stereo Dimensional Array System, without going into too much detail, basically solves a problem found in most conventional speakers called interaural crosstalk, which is basically sound from one speaker cancels sound from the other speaker out, making it difficult to tell which speaker it's coming from, not really what you want for good stereo separation. Now, super duper quick backstory on these. Friend called me, told me he had these absolutely amazing speakers that he needed a receiver to test them with. Well, since I had many receivers, I brought one over and we proceeded to test it. Now, we only had enough wire for one speaker. And if you're familiar with the SDAs, you know that you have to hook these both up to a source and that audio source has to be common ground, which most receivers I think are. Now, this is stuff that I didn't read that is actually mentioned on the back of the speaker but we didn't get that far basically we tested the first one and it sounded absolutely horrible now mind you we were in the middle of a garage and the speaker was in the middle of the garage but it had absolutely no bass and the treble was like ridiculous and then we hooked the other one up to the same source from the same speaker and then that one basically had absolutely no sound come out of it at all and it actually put the amplifier into protect but either way my friend was like super bummed out about it so i figured all right i'll take them i'll try to do anything i can to fix them you know maybe new crossover whatever you know try to at least you know figure out what was wrong with it and at least you know do a video on it i ended up figuring out what was wrong with them fix them it's actually a pretty cool little roller coaster for a ride So I had to actually lug this thing onto my dining room table because as you can see, it's pretty gargantuan. Now, like I said, I don't know if this is anything I'm gonna be able to do today, but what I wanna do is dig into this, see if there's anything going on, see if it's anything that I can fix right away, or maybe, you know, see if we can't put a new crossover in it. Maybe it's a driver, I'm not sure. It seemed like on the other one that actually did work, the drivers worked, but I was getting nothing through here. I didn't have an meter on me at the time, but I've already owned it out, either between open and um, just erratic impedance all over the place. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably either remove the back speaker terminal itself or remove this passive radiator first. And then, which will give us a look on the inside, a look at the crossover stuff like that. And hopefully it's something I can do because, you know, I really, I felt bad when I saw his reaction when it didn't work because he was so excited for these things to work. And honestly, I was too. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so I've opted to take this uh, passive radiator off first. Usually when I'm taking speakers off, because this is all a very soft foam, even the front of this is a very soft foam, I like to use one of these extensions that has the little thing in there so you can kind of spin it. That way you can use your force as you're spinning it and push away from the speaker, just in case if it slips off the screw it will not damage the speaker. That's literally styrofoam in there. 625.85. It's <laughs> pretty cool. From 1985. And there we, oh, okay. But that really doesn't make sense. Let me get you in here. Okay, so change of camera so you can actually see. <laughs> that was glued on there, definitely. There are our beautiful, I mean, these, these are really nice crossovers. Nice open air coils, bunch of stuff going on, but can you notice anything? And this is kind of weird to me. This was disconnected, but all this does is it, it goes to the interconnect. And now, like I said, there's a bunch of instructions on the back of here that I didn't really go through. One of them being that you need a common ground amplifier, which I do. Now, I wonder if I connect this. I mean, I really doubt that just this would have done it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It doesn't really fit on there. Hold on, let me put you down. 
So I got that one connected. I also noticed this one was kind of barely hanging on too. Man, I have to admit, all of the components look just fine on here. Um, let me go ahead and grab my ohm meter and let's see how these ohm out now. Okay, so I do not know how these work or what is going on, but we have a speaker, I think. All right, so I don't want to go too far into these, but again, we'll just give you one last look at these beautiful crossovers. I looked and I think I found a pair of these crossovers for like 260 bucks. Yeah, kind of not cheap. All of the top is full of polyfill. And uh, look at down at the amount of glue. They wanted to make sure that these things were, you know, airtight. Uh, being a passive radiator, it very much depends on that. All right, so I don't know if that's just all as easy as that. Um, I never really, when we were over there, put an interconnect cable on it. I did make, out of an old extension cord, my own interconnect cable. And I'm going to make sure that, you know, where I connect them, they all line up and everything. Another thing, you saw that the ohm load on this was pretty low. These are 4 ohm speakers, and in order to run these SDA speakers, you need an amplifier that is going to be stable at 4 ohms. So, I'm going to pop this all back together, hook it up, hook the interconnect up, and um, hopefully we can sound test these. I'm feeling a lot better. Another thing I did do was I did clean up the terminals on the back. You know, we've had problems with that before, so hopefully between connecting that wire that wasn't connected and cleaning off the terminals, maybe between one of the two, fix the problem. There's only one way to find out. Okay, so I did hook it up to the Pioneer and we have speakers. They actually work. I can't believe it. Um, I was so excited I didn't film any of it, sorry. But um, what I think we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and we're gonna, actually we're gonna sound test these 601s first and then um, then we're going to get the other speakers and kind of do a comparison. Let's hook them up and let's see how they sound. I got some smoke jacket blues up for you and let's see how these sound. Rockstar from Netflix. Oops. So that was with the 601s. I have to admit, man, these 601s really fill this whole entire room with bass. If you have these things set up right, they're a pretty good speaker. But now let's go ahead and lug the SDA ones in here and hopefully they fit. And the main thing that I wanna do here is try to compare the bass. Hopefully it'll come through, you know, how detailed they are and hopefully we can get a better understanding of how the lows sound on these speakers. Oh. Okay, so here you go. Yeah, that looks pretty impressive. But uh, let's go ahead and see how they sound with that Netflix Rockstar, or Born to be a Rockstar. What is it? Born a Rockstar. It keeps putting the amp into protect. We'll get into more on that. and we'll do smoke jacket again. All right. 
great so i hope that kind of came through these things are really amazing there was two different connections that were actually not connected um i'm thinking just with a bunch of resistance or maybe the fact that i didn't have the interconnect cable on or the fact that i didn't have them both hooked up had something to do with that in any event they're all done everyone's all happy that's about all i got for now but i got a lot more things coming up to do with the roadmaster more speakers more car audio so make sure to stay tuned for all that like comment subscribe and any money or donations that i get coming from like supers and things like that go straight back into the channel and go into speakers and stuff like this for you to watch and hopefully learn something from i try to teach as much as i can but thank you so much for watching have a good one we'll see you on the next one have a good one guys